element if you happen to split. That's perfectly fine. This is all that's going to happen. You won't go any farther than this. You're just going to hang down a little bit. All that we ask is that you do your best to reach up and pull yourself up. If you can't do that, that's perfectly fine. All you have to do is just yell orange nice and loud. Or we're going to have staff members walking around the park that will be able to help you. And so once you continue on, once again, you're going to look for this looser wire hanging on the tree, and you're going to clip in and squeeze it. Find your other clip and do the same. I'm going to walk around here, and the thing you'll notice that's different about this tweezel is that it's blue. At the park here, we say that the blue tweezel is a clue because that it's a zip line. You want to remember that because if you forget your zip line, like I said earlier, you're not going to go very far. So, the first thing you want to do when you get to a zip line is you want to take your zip line trolley off your hip. We say here that the zip line trolley is like an elephant yep. with a trunk and two eyes. It's missing the ears though, so we're going to get to that soon. But first of all, you got to open the elephant's trunk up and make sure it eats the wire. Make sure it rolls. You can't set on there crooked and it will not go very far. So make sure it's rolling. Once you've done that, take your clip and squeeze the end. What you're going to do with your second clip is you're going to clip it in the front. you got to make sure you have one clip behind, one clip in front, and you're good. So this elephant won't be an elephant without its ears, so we're going to put the ears on top. One, two, three, same time. All on top, and it's rolling. We're good to go. So for a grip line, when you start off, sit nice and low. Yeah, so you just have both hands on top at all times. Helps you keep nice and straight, helps you keep your legs straight so you land on the platform and don't fly into the trees. <laughs> so what you're going to do is two hands on top, lift your feet up, and keep your feet straight, you're going to go. At some point, you might run into the platform a little too hard. Something might happen where you don't make it all the way across. That's perfectly fine. All you're going to do is in the middle of the zip line, you're going to turn yourself around, hand over hand, and you're going to pull yourself up. If you can't do that, like I said before, that's perfectly fine. Just yell orange nice and loud, and we'll be over there to assist you. Once again, we're going to squeeze in. And like I said before, the zipline is the first thing on, last thing on, so now I'll put that off. And I'll walk around here. So this right here, this is called an SRL. This is a machine you're going to see any single time you need to go up or you need to go down one of the elements on the course. What you're typically going to see, you really won't see this machine, it'll probably be up high above you. However, you will see this orange rope. What you're going to do, you're going to pull down on this orange rope, and once you get it down, you're going to see this set of gears. What you're going to see is this loop, and another clip. The first thing I want you to do, is find this clip. At the back here, there's a silver piece, it's a little different to open than the rest of them that you've seen before. Yeah, that's alright, so we're going to push on this silver piece on the back, and then the gate will open as you push it. One, two, and you're good. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this clip and you're going to look down and you're going to find your D-ring. Your D-ring is the main metal clip that is attached to everything. Right here, it's right in the center. So what you know you do, you're going to find that and you're going to clip this clip to the silver part of your D-ring. Once you got that clipped in, then you'll go get your clip. You'll find your unlocked one. You'll grab this loop. You will clip in and squeeze it in just like before. Once you got all three things on, you're going to go down. So this machine will work exactly like a seatbelt. If you happen to slip, it will lock up immediately. Once you've done that, you'll probably be hanging or something along those lines. And all you got to do is take one step up and go back down and it'll loosen up for you. So once you hit down, you're going to find your unlock clip. And at the end of every single course, you're going to see one of these tweezers on a little rope. It's going to be somewhere around, whether it's around a tree, whether it's on the uh, ladder to get down. It'll be there somewhere. And what it's called, it's called a freezel because you say it frees you from the course. So you're going to find your unlock clip, and you're going to lock into this. So now this clip will be locked to nothing, so your other clip will be able to be unlocked. Once you've done that, you can send your gear back up on the floor. You will free from the course. Does anyone have any questions? Can you go up on this thing? No, you don't really need to do much. They just 
machine will work on, on its own. But when you get to one, all you're going to do is you're going to see this orange rope first. You're going to pull this down, and then that's when you'll grab this set of gear, and you'll just clip this clip onto your D-ring, the main one right here, and then you'll clip in your other two black clips onto this rope. Anyone else? Alrighty, we actually start with the yellow or a green course today, and then you can make your way to blue, and then black if you so choose. We have a practice course right here, and then all of our other courses are going to start where the American flag is, and you guys are all set. Alright, let's do it. You guys ready? Yeah. Alright. I'm, I'm going forward too. I am too. Man. Good man. So this is the one we start out first. Uh, you can start off on this yellow sunshine or any of our three greens here. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, go with the green one first. There you go. Just pull this down. Yep. That's cool. I'm starting out zip lining first. Yes, sir. All this, right. Uh, this horse has huh? Green one. All set? Perfect. All right. Why is it not uh, okay?
Hey, Orange, can you tighten me up a little bit more? You can go ahead and pull that straight up if you want. Yeah, that extra strap. Yeah, there you go. All right, much better. Was fun. All right. All right. We're going. Where are we going? Ho ho ho. Heck yeah, it was. All right. Oh. I'm waiting. Are you coming? Put your zip line down first, then your harness next, okay? Check C is good. You good? All right, now put your things on. My fucking god. Come on. There. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm going down. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yep. See you on the other side. This one next is like a walking one, okay? All right. Oh, come on. You're clear. Ah! 
There you go. Oh, man. Damn. Take it easy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a fear of heights. <laughs> Okay, yep. And then I got in. Alright. So uh, next one we gotta climb up. I'm so of <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Alright, you hook in? Hold on, hold on. Damn, let me fix these. Okay, I'm fixing. You good? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go. Here we go. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, take it one time. You got hooked right here. Oh, damn. Wait, just wait, because I got a hook again, okay? Okay. Just wait. You're good, sis. Shut up, hold up. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Ah! Oh, that hurt. Oh my God, that freaking hurt. Yes, just wait. No. Fuck. God damn it. That freaking hurt my arms.